One of the biggest challenges of the organization is to update itself. Uh, it was uh, created in 1948 with the Bretton Woods institutions uh, after the Second World War. And the rules that were put in place back then are still very relevant. It's like the constitution of global trade. Uh, and those basic principles of transparency, non-discrimination, uh, national treatment, um, all those things are still very much valid and necessary. Uh, but um, we need more. We need more details in the rules. For example, the rules don't fully reflect the digital revolution. Uh, the negotiations that put in place uh, the rules that we have now took place in the 1980s, in the late 80s, early 90s. We didn't even have the internet back then. So business practices changed considerably. The way that we operate, the way that we transact in the real world has changed considerably. And we need rules that capture uh, those things. Uh, we have other uh, models of um, economic policy, of trade policy that didn't exist uh, back in, in the years when the WTO was created. So the system, the rules need to be uh, updated. They need to be um, uh, re-evaluated by members. And it's something that is beginning to happen. But as you can imagine, what one country sees as progress, another country sees as going backwards. Um, and it's very difficult to get a common view uh, on these things, but it, it couldn't be any different. These are extremely sensitive uh, issues. Uh, what we do require is a strong dose of political will to get it done.